Hey folks, this is John with Ozarks Back Roads with you today. We are at Truman Dam at Warsaw, Missouri today. We've had a lot of rain. I wanted to come down and take a look at the river and see how it's doing. It's getting plenty of water dumped in it right now. Take a look at the dam, then we'll go over and look at the big lake here. It's really full up on top. We've had record rain all spring. They're still trying to get rid of all the water. We'll go over the dam here and take a look at the lake. See how much water's in this sucker. Well, it's got some water in it. Without a doubt. We can look at the river down here where we're dumping into. Pretty good flow right there. I used to come down here and do quite a bit of fishing myself this time of the year. Whenever the floodgates were open, we'd come down. We used to come down on Friday evenings after work. We'd all pile in the car and head down here and get here after dark. About a three hour trip from where I live. We'd fish all night, get us a big mess of fish and then we'd bring our our gas cooker with us and all of our fixings. We'd clean them, clean us out a mess and get up here in the parking lot and two or three in the morning when we get done fishing, get tired of fishing, start cooking fish. I tell you what, you can be down here with just you and your buddies and not see a soul for two hours. As soon as you drop fish in the fryer, people just start coming out of the woodwork. They're everywhere wanting to know what you're doing, wanting a piece of fish. <laughs> that happened quite a few times. Something about cooking fish brings folks around. Boy, the water's moving. Look at that. You would not want to fall in there. You might not come up, not to mention you'd be full of fish hooks. Well, there's a look at the Niangua River coming through the Truman Dam here. They got it moving right along. Pretty good fishing on this right here when it's moving water like it is. You can usually go home pretty happy. Every time I've been here and it's like this, I did. All right, folks, we're going to do kind of a tech minute here. If any of you have a, you know, a bike with headers on it that aren't double walled, they get all nasty looking and they start to get uh, oxidation, especially around the welds on them. Quick and easy way to kind of keep them looking good. Now, I've done this. I did this last season on, the, on these. So they're not real bad, but they're starting to get some oxidation around the welds and and uh, down here in the collector and all the way back here on the catalytic converter is getting kind of dark and uh, some rusty spots starting on the wells. So we'll go ahead and uh, use a little lime away, which is kind of a mild acidic acid. And we'll just spray these down. It won't hurt the, it won't hurt the paint or anything. We'll get that good and wet. I'm going to take a uh, red scotch bright, which is pretty pretty mild scotch bright. it's not real coarse and I'm just gonna kind of go over these tubes and let that lime away it'll uh, eat into that rust this cross pipe is really really getting a lot of oxidation on it but it's coming right off work a little bit here around the bottom of it around these welds on this catalytic converter get it looking as good as we can because you never know when somebody's going to crawl underneath your bike and inspect your catalytic converter you don't want to be embarrassed you know having oxide oxidation on your 
welds you can just go as far as your OCD wants you to go on this kind of stuff but I think I've pretty well got it here probably a good idea to wear a rubber glove doing this if you've got sensitive skin you might pick up a burn or an irritation off of this I don't know I've never have but we've scraped and carried on with our lime away and our red scotch right here I'm gonna rinse this down with some bleach white uh, it's a real good cleaner and it's also alkali. It'll neutralize this acid a little bit. So I'm just going to spray this down and then we'll wipe it down and see what we've done. And yeah, we'll see what the result was here. I've got maybe 10 minutes of time in this. I spent some working on it. I'd say 10 minutes, a good 10 minutes or so. So that's not very long. So that, that looks a lot better underneath there. And the front looks good too. So there's your tech minute. If your OCD is bothering you on your headers, which maybe they weren't before and it is now. So that's a quick, easy way to do it. Doesn't cost much, just takes a few minutes. And it'll keep your pipes looking good. We'll do it again next year and they'll always look good. Well, I decided to stop in at Bennett Spring State Park here on the way home. Oh, we got a little bridge we can go over. Weight limit, five tons. I'll probably be all right. Well, we got water in the river, got people fishing. I don't know if they're fishing or just going in after them. Look at there, man, right across the boards. That's skill. Looks like we're in a campground. This would be a dandy place to bring your RV and spend the weekend. That's what these people thought. See if we can negotiate our way out of here without knowing, having a clue where I'm at. I know the river's right here. Boy, that looks refreshing too. That is one clean river. It's all uh, spring fed. Well, here's the Niangua River here at Bennett, St Bennett Spring State Park. Got folks fishing for some trout. Having a pretty good time, looks to me like. Plenty of water to go around. Want to be sure you're wearing some pretty grippy shoes to be doing that. Here's the little... Uh, bridge over the river right here they built. It's pretty cute. Take a look at the dam here. A little waterfall. This looks like one of them uh, swimming pools with no edge no end to it. Well that was a look at the Niangua River here at Bennett Spring State Park just outside of Lebanon, Missouri up on Highway 64. Pretty cool little place if you like to trout fish. I saw quite a few people had caught trout there. So apparently it's an okie dokie place. Here's a look at the river coming over the falls. Pretty sweet. I still want the job mowing the yard at these parks. Man, wouldn't that be a way to spend your summer? Ride the lawnmower, get up in the morning, ride the lawnmower by the river. Take a break, watch the water come over the waterfall. 
Ride the lawnmower a little more. Take another break. <laughs>